Hello, it's uh, Zay Scone fan here, playing a little bit of PSVR, which I just purchased recently. And as you might know, PlayStation has published a new trailer of Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown, which only shows the VR portion of the game, the VR gameplay of AC7. And so having myself purchased PlayStation VR, I thought I would make this video talking a little bit about my VR experience and sharing my thoughts on how I think the VR mode will play out for Ace Combat 7. Now, just a quick introduction for those who are Nuggets, the new people to Ace Combat, is that Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown is a game for the Xbox One, Steam and the PlayStation 4, but the VR component is only available for PlayStation 4. And that the game that's coming out in 2018, which is developed by Pro Aces and published by Bandai. Now, in case you don't know, the VR campaign and the, the campaign of the game are two separate things. The main campaign you're gonna be able to experience in the three platforms, but the VR campaign only in the PlayStation 4. And the VR campaign is it has a little bit of a different perspective on the war, it's a different theater, different protagonist. And it's not gonna be that much important because story is a very important element in Ace Combat 7. Now let's go to the news. In the in the new trailer that was published by PlayStation, many of you hardcore Ace Combat fans, because there's only two types of Ace Combat fans. People who are hardcore or people who were who just got to know Ace Combat. So many of you noticed the Mobius emblem in the hangar section and also in the carrier launch sequence. Mobius, which is of course the main protagonist in Ace Combat 4 and also makes another appearance in Ace Combat 5, the arcade mode. Uh, we thought that the main protagonist in the VR section was going to be Echo Team as we saw before in the, uh, I think, tai Taiwan game show way, way before. And Echo Team sounds very much like a generic a generic name for a protagonist. And maybe it was just a placeholder for Mobius Squadron, which is coming back now, but I'm not too sure. I have two ideas about this emblem. First is, it can be just a customization option, just like we had in previous games, such as Ace Combat Infinity or Ace Combat Joint Assault. So, you know, you can change your emblems. But that doesn't make much sense, since... We're gonna be playing in the VR section in the cockpit view only. So whatever emblem you choose, it doesn't really matter that much because you can't see it. Which brings me to the, the second idea that I had, which is that the the Echo Team is actually Mobius the Mobius Squadron that's gonna be returning back in the VR section. And we fought that ISAF maybe had this banded, but maybe that's not true. I made a video about that earlier, but maybe ISAF is back. And one important thing that I, I think I should mention is that just because the Mobius squadron is back, that doesn't mean that we're gonna play as the same protagonist as Mobius 1. Mobius 1, the protagonist in Ace Combat 4 and, he's, and uh, Operation Katina, he was already talking about retirement in 2006 in Operation Katina, so maybe he had retired after all. I mean, between Operation Katina and Ace Combat 7 is what? 13 years. Maybe he retired already. So it might be two different things. But of course, we need more. We need more information about the game to find out. The second thing I want to talk about besides the story is my experience with VR which it has been very interesting. So one of the, the first things you, you should know, in case, in case you are thinking about buying the VR, is that the, the, the resolution that you can see right now in this video of the Gran Turismo 5 gameplay, 5 no sports, sorry. The, the resolution that you can see in this video is much better than what I can see right now in the in the hardware in the in the goggles so you might get disappointed when you buy the VR thinking that you're gonna see what you saw in the trailer it's different this is a limitation not of the game but of the hardware where you see a, a much lower a considerably 
lower resolution here in the headsets. So on the good on the good side, if you're not buying the VR and you want to watch someone playing the VR content, such as myself, the recorded video will be a much in a much better quality, which is what they've done in the gameplay there. So what you see there is way better than we're gonna see if you play the PSVR. Uh, another, I think, important factor in, in, in VR is the motion sickness. Many people have been talking about, like, oh, am I, get, am I gonna get sick playing this game? With my experience in Gran Turismo Sport, which is a game I'm playing right now, I have not felt motion sickness at all. My girlfriend, however, she played this game and she felt a little bit sick. So I think at the end of the day, it's all about getting used to it. The motion thing. I play video games, of course, way more than my girlfriend, so I'm more used to the idea. And I think I think as long as you you know keep keep practicing with with the game, you're gonna be fine. Although Ace Combat, I think it's one of those games that can really make someone sick from the motion because Gran Turismo we can only go sideways left right forward or back in Ace Combat however we we move in 3D there's the altitude difference and if you've played if you've played the PS2 games or other Ace Combat games or a flight flight sim or flight shooter as I, as I should say more correctly you I think you kind of get used to the rotating stuff you know, with you know, flying upside down, all those turns. So if you have played Ace Combat before, you're probably gonna be fine, or way better, more adapted to the VR. And as for as for how immersion in the VR mode goes, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. I've just purchased my VR recently, and I thought it wouldn't be as immersive, but it is. Especially with the controls in Gran Turismo Sport, you have this option where instead of you know just using the analog sticks as your know, your regular racing games, you can turn you can turn the wheel. I mean, you can turn the the uh, your controller to, to turn the wheel to steer your car, and I think that really adds up to the immersion of the game. I was thinking about like. Uh, one of those wheels for racing games but it's already really fun just with the regular controller and I think if they manage to do that for Race Combat 7 that would be perfect for the people who don't want to buy a flight stick or don't have the money to buy a flight stick it could be a lot lots of fun I can imagine that maybe Project Aces can make us you know bank the airplane by turning the controller right or left, pitch up and down by you know bringing the controller forward and backward as you could do in a in a real plane. So I think I think there is a future in in that kind of sense. But if you wanna go for more, even more inversion, inversion. No, sorry, <laughs> talking about flying upside down. But if you wanna go for more immersion, Project Aces they they already mentioned that they are looking for a flight stick. To be compatible with Ace Combat 7. Oh, that was bad. Takumi Senpai would be ashamed. And that would be a really, I think, advantage for Ace Combat 7. That would, I think, that would really draw lots of people to playing Ace Combat. Is this fact that you have the probably the largest immersion ever in a PS4 game with the flight stick? They haven't. They haven't decided anything yet or announced anything yet, but they're looking for it. And if that happens, I would I would totally buy the joystick, which they've made before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they did before a bundle of a, of a flight stick for Ace Combat 6 and I think Ace Combat 5 they did in the past for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 2 respectively. So I think there there is future for that but even if they don't do it a flight stick or they don't do at the release of the game 2018 just if they made with the controller in this kind of motion that would make me really happy and I think that would be really good 
for you know people wanna who are wanna try this game have a little bit of fun since you don't have to buy any more hardware for example flight stick which can of course be expensive so in order to summarize everything that, that I said about the, my VR experience it's really immersive but you might get disappointed if you buy because the resolution here is different from the video it's lower than what you're seeing right now in the video and oh, actually something I forgot to mention is the, is the focus in real life you can just look at something with your eyes and focus you, without moving your head in VR though it only focuses on the on the center so I do have to look in the middle of the picture so it focuses not like in the video that you're watching so that might be a little bit of a challenge for Ace Combat 7 since the targets are usually moving, the air targets, and they move really fast. So there's gonna be lots of head turning to see the airplane and you gotta look exactly towards the enemy airplane. So that might be a little bit, be a little bit of a challenge because you're gonna have to move your head a lot. Just like, you know, probably a fighter pilot would do but maybe it adds up to the immersion where you have to look behind yourself like this and it's kind of dangerous of course as you can see because you might lose control but that's gonna be one of the things that might be a little bit of a challenge for Ace Combat 7 in the VR mode because for example right now you could you could keep your face forward in the video this video but you could look at somewhere else with your eyes so that's gonna be one of the factors so in order to summarize again, I think it, it's really immersive, even if they don't have a flight stick. It's really fun, it's gonna be really fun to play. If they make up if they bring it with a bundle with a flight stick, much better. And I think with Ace Combat 7 coming with VR mode, even though it's gonna be a limited VR mode, because it probably will not work for the multiplayer, that's what I'm assuming, we don't have details yet, but probably won't work for the multiplayer, just like Gran Turismo Sport doesn't, doesn't, it's limited in, in VR, but I think just having the VR section is gonna make Ace Combat 7 stand out from the other PlayStation 4 games, even from all the, you know, all the flight shooters or flight sims, I think it's really gonna make Ace Combat 7 stand out, and I think that's definitely gonna be an advantage for for the franchise, for the Ace Combat series. Uh, about uh, graphics, like again, that was bad. Um, about graphics, what you can see in the regular screen is gonna be better than the VR, but they're I know they're bringing a new model of the VR headset, so things can get better. And they probably will get better as we approach the release date of the game in 2018. But I think it's going to be really fun. If you are considering VR, I'll say maybe wait a little bit. See if they maybe, you know, bring another, a newer headset or, you know, the goggles. I bought earlier because I want to get more familiar with the VR technology before Ace Combat 7 comes out. So, you know, I can make the videos for you guys. But yeah, it seems really, immer really immersive, really fun. I had lots of fun with Gran Turismo, even though the mode of the game is limited. But gameplay-wise, extremely fun. Although, some people may say otherwise, but I had fun. I think the VR section is really going to help the franchise. So, that was my experience with VR. I'm talking a little bit, of course, about the story that we saw in the new trailer from the Paris Games Week by PlayStation. So anyways... Hope you guys have enjoyed this quick uh, video about my VR experience. And of course, if I have any updates, I'll let you know in the channel. And if you have questions, just ask before I crash in the comments. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. And see you guys next time.